The seven hole cording foot is used for embellishing edges, cuffs, collars. It's great on all types of fabrics, whether they be home decorator materials, quilting, anything you want a little extra creativity and design. For this demonstration, I'm going to make my own cording. Of course, you can go, with, go ahead and purchase it if you'd like to. Um, buttonhole thread, cording, pearl cotton, any of those will do just fine. Uh, but I like to make my own because I like it to match exactly. Sometimes you have a hard time finding the right colors. So all I'm doing is I'm taking six, two, two threads and I'm folding it three times so that I have six strands. Of course you can use more or less depending on how thick you'd like your cording. This is also a, a great way to make belt loops. And we're just going to zigzag over and I'm holding it in the back just a little bit just to help guide me along. So this is a really nice way to create your own cording and you can make it whatever bulk you like. Now if this foot is too thin for what you're doing, you might try using the candle wicking foot for thicker strands of cord. See how nice that is? What I've done is I've used three of the holes out of the seven. Of course you can use one, three, four, five, seven, as many as you want. Um, but for this demonstration, I'm going to use three of the holes. And if you have a hard time seeing, you can go ahead and use one of the old style needle threaders to help you pull your uh, cording through the braiding foot. I'm going to go ahead and snap it on. Leaving a little of the cord in the back. That way we're ensured that as it sews, it will feed under the foot without any drag. And you can use pretty much any kind of decorative stitch you want. You could use a checkerboard, walls of Troy, a multiple zigzag, a feather stitch, what, whatever you desire for the project you're working on. I'm going to do a couple different stitches on this one just to kind of give you an idea of the different effects that you can get. So now that one was the multiple zigzag. So that's three stitches zigging and three stitches zagging. And let's see if I can find another nice little stitch here. I'll go ahead and do the feather stitch in a second. And lastly, I think I will Do a smocking stitch. Making sure that my threads, my cord, my braid is nice and straight along the front of the foot. And there you go, three different types of stitches.